Hey everybody, how's it going today? Yeah, I tell you, kind of getting a little late start to the day. It's supposed to be 70 degrees here. Yeah, but I'm gonna try something today. That's gonna be my breakfast and dinner. Big old fat burger. <laughs> yes, I can cook. I cook too. Yeah, you know, how do you think I got this nice figure? No. <laughs> that was everybody else's cooking, my cooking. Yeah, I wouldn't have it. <laughs> so, yep. Beautiful sunshiny day. And yep, there's the back of the house some days that hopefully will be finished. Ha. Huh. But uh Oh yeah, last year where we hauled that dirt in worked. The water ran away. It didn't pull up in there this year. So that worked. Not very good. But uh Yep, we're just gonna eat a little breakfast here. Got my medicines in me and then we're gonna put the shoes on and go see what we can and can't do. But uh Alright. I'm gonna look around at the farm today and see what I got around for iron and I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out, don't we? We usually do. Yeah. All right. I hate this when I lose stuff. Thought my diabetic tester was at the house. Got home was in the. Oh yeah, I was at the wood shop. We stopped there and checked, and it's not there. I look at my truck again. Hopefully, I didn't lose that damn thing yesterday. Okay, that's weird. In town it was reading 52, it tries to drop the 48, but it's warm. What the hell is this? Yeah. Looks like another coat for me. Just a second. Hell, it wasn't a coat, but I think I found a new sweatshirt for my daughter. Oh, looks like there's another one laying up here. I, so far I've picked up a Hoodie, now a sweatshirt, and now there's something else laying up here. I'll well, see what it is. All right, we'll be back. Well, somebody's not going to be happy. It's warm weather. I got a feeling somebody laid their stuff in the back of a truck. Just picked up another sweatshirt. I'm like, really? Okay. Wait for the day where I pick one of them up and it has cash in it again. That'd be handy right now. Find a fault wallet full of cash, yeah. That'd be like the last time I found one. Found a cash uh, wallet one time in a men's bathroom at the old truck stop. $1,400 in cash, three gold car credit cards, and uh, traveler's checks and everything. I gave it to the store. There's another one. Uh, gave it to the store clerk and then the clerk said well if you want to stole any money I said yeah me whatever the guy was tickled to get his wallet back but yeah, store clerk and I know the guy I should have known better to give him I should have I knew the guy that whose wallet was and I thought he was still there and wasn't so I was nice and gave it back but yeah <sighs> but at least I could sleep. The other guy that didn't give it all back, he's kind of had problems, so. Yeah, all right. Okay, guys. There's a section of filming that I've done that I'm not going to do. I just, our banker and I just went the rounds. They tell you one thing. And then they change your mind and shorten everything up. But the way it's going to be, I'm probably going to end up losing my power here at the farm. So I guess I'm, if the weather's warm, I'll probably have to start sleeping out here at nights so I don't get ripped off. I just, yeah. Banker uh, gave us this week to take care of the basically what he said is get the interest and the late charges taken care of and then they would just change the move the payment to the end of the loan 
Well, he was going to cut it short today and start foreclosing on the house today. Over 500 bucks. And, uh, yeah. So I guess I better figure out how to figure out to sell a lot of stuff or just get rid of every fucking thing I own and that's something well alright his wife well the banker again doesn't stand behind his word the deal was if we paid the late fee and the interest I mean our house payment is 231 bucks 232 bucks a month if anybody's wondering and yeah, I know it's stupid to sound that we're having trouble over a $230 house payment, but you know, when you got a high heat bill because this winter was cold and I'm on disability, I am limited on what I can do and can't do. But anyway, the wife called him and he refused to do what he said. So instead of paying our light bill to keep the lights on at the house, she just made the house payment. Now we're down to 15 days behind, so now I gotta come up with another $232, where then we'll be current. But the problem is now, I don't know if this freaking bank is gonna work with us, because next month is our balloon payment. So, I guess it might be time to say, guys, I've got tools, air compressor, toolbox is full of tools, a generator. Do you see it in here? I mean, I got stuff. I, I, it, it's coming down to time the, that I'm going to have to give up everything I'm doing just to save our house because uh, obviously this bank is done working with us after 16 years of being there and uh, you know it, it's stupid over things that uh, I mean Prior, we've been five months behind and they didn't even get this nasty with us. So, I guess, and then I guess I showed off what's in the wood shop. I mean, hell, send me a money order, PayPal, whatever. Give me your address, we'll figure up shipping before you do it. And I guess it's time to just give up on everything I was trying to do. And, uh,. That son of a bitch from Facebook. That's the guy from Facebook's the one that stuck it to me the other night on the truck. Um, I really felt like putting his name out there, but I won't. I'm a better person than that. I just rotten ass shit that he pulled. If he only knew how big a bind he put us in, but anyway. So. I guess it's, I, I guess if I get it out of this, I don't know what we'll do for YouTube videos to keep anybody interested. Cause I'm um, just, I don't know. <sighs> Got I, I, and this roller coaster ride that I get put on here with my emotions here is it's starting to take a toll. I, I tell you guys, I was ready to literally snap the thoughts that went through my head uh, hmm. yeah but I was able to put that shit in check so I don't know I'm sorry to be like this it just I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anybody to turn to. What's left of my family don't even want to help. So I just, I don't know. <laughs> damned if I do and damned if I don't, so. And I, oh yeah, I was supposed to be in Iowa City tomorrow for a doctor's appointment. I guess I'm gonna cancel that because I don't have the money to go. And I wanted to get back down there and start seeing them again because I'm really wondering about my health. I mean, and I've, I don't know. When I videotape out here and then I go home and put it up, 
There's been times that when I've watched it, I'm like, that is not what I said. And I know it's not what I said, but that's not what was recorded. And with this diabetic stuff being out of control, now I've had a couple people say, well, you're sick. If you're do eating what you're supposed to and taking your medicine and it's you can't get it under control, they said you've got an infection somewhere. I feel fine. But, well, I know this is probably, I'll probably have a short day. I, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm, I'm getting real serious. If anybody wants to buy any of my stuff, I guess I'd rather sell it off, get it out of here, and get it away from here so that damn vulture of a bank can't get it. Uh, I'm, and it's like since I got that building in town, I was able to scrape up the money to buy that, and that building wasn't a big dollar purchase either. I mean, small town, I was dead, and I sh guess I should have never bought it. I should have stayed where it was, but. I don't know how I'm going to keep going, guys. I really don't. I just. I guess I got you guys out there on YouTube. So. You know, if I could get some woodworking jobs or something, I, I just can't even, I can't even get anybody to come in the door. I just... Alright, I'm going to stop here. And, yeah. Yeah, guys, I've been sitting here thinking. I just... People I've been trying to call, I can't get a hold of. I just, well, hopefully I can get this mess straightened out. And I'm sorry for the shit. I just, but I guess today's going to be a short day. I really don't think anything much is going to happen. Well, right. guys. I mean, I'm serious. I guess if there's tools or stuff, I'll give you my PayPal info and I guess give me your address and I'll figure out shipping to see if what you're interested in will be worth shipping to you or the shipping company more make more than I would. So, I guess if I ain't got this, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I, I really don't. But. Yes, we're supposed to not be materialistic in this world, and we're not supposed to be like this. So, and I've been talking to God, I've been praying, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, and, and it doesn't seem to have helped. So, but. sorry guys, maybe tomorrow. I can do a happy video. I just, it, as you can see, I started out real good, and then, and call and get through it. And with having your house taken away, your tools and your vehicles. I mean, and like I said, we've been with this bank for 16 years. So, all right. Well, we'll see y'all later.